Well, that's a pleasant surprise. It works brick, so it works brick under the window and on the pike. Saws all, bow saw, get them bushes out of the way. Not working today, but we're on the job. The duck job. I thought you threw in a second. Yeah, just having mate Jim on the phone asking me advice about brickwork in this weather. Uh, the weather this, this week is round here anyway. As long as it's like that, it's cold. A bit of cloud, it warms up, but then. So what we're getting, we're getting like minus two, minus three overnight. And then it struggles to get to one or two degrees. And by the time it does, it's like two o'clock. You get a mix and you might get a few under brick or so done. Then you've got to cover it up and make sure it's right. Look after it overnight. And then the, once the sun drops, the temperature drops with it. So it freezes again. So it's not worth turning out. It's not worth putting um, ad mix in the uh, frost proof because all that is rapid hardener. It doesn't work. Jib was just saying you see when it says it works down to minus eight. I said, well, would you even want to work in minus eight? You can't, you can't work in that. So we're here now with all the dust sheets we've got, putting layers and layers and layers over the sand, just to protect it so the frost doesn't get too deep into the sand. That won't keep it frost free, it's getting to minus three, but it'll protect the centre. It'll just give us half a chance. So as it stands, it's Wednesday now. Yes. It's Wednesday and we won't be coming back here till probably Wednesday next week because the forecast is around this. It's, um, I think there's going to be a few cold days, uh, wet days, but uh, like I say, the other job we were going to go on now, we can't go on, so he said next week, so hopefully we'll drop on that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're not uh, working Friday, Saturday, but that's wet and cold anyway, so yeah, as you can see, well Put wrapped up. A spare sheet or something? Black sheet in the back of the van, that stuff we're going to throw away. I just need a little one, just I'll cover the cement up and then I'll cover it again. The what um dust sheet? Yeah. There should be more in that purple bag. Yeah, so that's the plan. The insulation's gonna help as well. This isn't gonna freeze at the top. This one might. Yeah, there you go. So it could be another week before you see us back here, so see you then. Wednesday, sixth, quarter past nine. And it's I think it's about minus one. The time, it took a right dive overnight with this clear sky. So as you can see, the frost is back. It doesn't really matter today. This is our sand under here. A couple of layers. Everything with brickwork is all nicely covered up, protected from the frost. So today is saws all, bow saw, get them bushes out of the way, and we're going to start stoning up. I think Alice has already took a barrel full already. If we can get the crust off it. So um, we were going to try and brick later today, but I don't think it's going to be warm enough for long enough. It might just get to about two later on, but that's no good. But we're still in a position where we can get it prepped and get it slabbed. So jobs today. Stone up, get it prepped. I need to drive off and go and get the um, insulation ordered and get some get the floor insulation picked up. We'll get the cavity insulation dropped off. I think I've got a slow punch down there, so that's going to get sorted out. And then um, I need to get this thing cleaned up as soon as possible because it's going on Auto Trader. And it's going on for more than I want for it. <laughs> so they cannot be down. Neil's been today in, his, in the, the van I'm buying off him, and he's shown me the one he's buying. Nice. Probably nearer this colour. Where's the one? that I'm buying off him is a dark grey, like a slate grey. So we're gonna have to change the way these letters are on the back. That's not gonna stand out much against dark grey. So it might have to go orange that. But we'll see. I'm sure Brian will sort us out the sticker man. So yeah, let's get round the back and start making some room. Yeah, yeah, best thing is leave everything in covered while it's just cold to give it a bit of insulation. Alex has made a start as you can see. That stuff's been covered up since we dug it out so um well, let's try and save a bit of that. I want to mix concrete with that for the cavity. Again, you need to make sure you've done it for good enough yet. Well, yeah. 
well at the push we'll use the concrete that we get delivered for the cavity then if we run out but I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got enough there's there's probably a ton and a half there and three to, two ton there's more than two ton there isn't around the front that's a generous two ton it always is off me uh, we've been less than generous on two jobs now mm, yeah so as you can see the sun's coming round but it's not really going to get us much because of this big, bloody big hedge and that's my job get rid of this um, so we've got access we can actually build the thing <coughs> Yeah, usually not too bad over there, but that's where I stood on the block last night. Oops. There you go. Right, it's 10 o'clock. Trusty saws all did the job as usual. That thing was just a ball with loads and loads of sheep coming off it. So it took a lot longer than I was expecting, but it's down now. So we've got a nice area to work around. We can walk around, we can load out, we can work. The edging's coming out because all we're going to do is trip over that. Everything you can see there, the flag, the the concrete base panel, that base panel is going up where that rake is along that edge there, right up against the fence. Same with the flag, same with the roof tiles, just put them along here out of our way. And then we're going to get uh, get back filled up to the block today. And then it's ready for us to get the face work done, which is touch and go whether we get it done today. As you can see the sun's coming that way into the garden, we need the sun to be going that way into the garden. So by the time it comes round to here it tends to be dipping down again and going cold again. I don't think it's going to freeze tonight. I'll have to check that, but as you can see that side's done, so we've got our little cube, our little square, ready for the concrete to go into it. Wicked. <sighs> so that's that done, Alex is cracking on with the stone. I've got the uh, trench part filled in almost now. Yeah, I think the internal trench. That's so we're going up to the first course of common bricks, well that's should say the bottom of the blocks. Yeah. So just above, just under the second course of brick. Yeah, so basically, top of the commons on the house. But that gives us 225 down, then the depth of a block, which is a uh, 100 concrete, 100 insulation, 25 mil sand blinding. And we've got we've got two tonne of sand, so we should have plenty of sand. I mean, if we need more sand, we need more sand, but yeah, I mean, that stuff, it's got the blinding in it, but that's the stuff that was under the floor. But anyway, we're going to save that for concrete if we've got enough left to put in the cavity because we're going to fill up just above the bottom of the block. Just above the bottom of the block there. So that um, we can put the slope on it and it's uh, nice and strong then. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's it really. So I'll put you back on time lapse pointing at the slab because that's where, the, where we're concentrating on now. We'll probably go for a quick break and then I'll leave Alex to it and go and get this puncture sorted on the van. So we're just waiting for the next payment off the customer and then I can go off and order the installation. Happy days.
complete nice and nice and cleared flat hopefully we'll have to put a put a thin stack there against there but we still have room and then we, we're like double backfilling this we've got to do it up to there so we can build it and then again once the front face works up another two course up to level up with that We'll leave, just leaving it level with hardcore because there's obviously there's nothing left to do on this side. That edging is going to come out because it's doing nothing now, and um, the just customers are going to decide what to do with the front there. But um, that's I don't know what to do with that, but we're going to just aim for stone and that up level. We're going to try and cut that down a little bit when I get a spade rounds, level it out a little bit so I can get down when we need to do another corner. Can't be bothered putting a um, profile on it. Um, yeah, Alex is doing well with the stone. So it's quick break and I'm gonna head off getting punchy done. Just up the road. I'll head off then and go and get the insulation sorted. Get the three pick the three sheets up on the floor and get the cavity stuff delivered. Because we need ten packs. Because you only get four slices per pack. And that's a solid wall. I must check that though, because there's only pillar bit of brickwork underneath the window, pillar. So 660, 660, panel underneath the window. And then we've got two courses above. Probably works out the same as that one. So that needs insulating. And then over the steel as well. Right, I'm back. Alex's been busy. That big pile at the front's gone. All nicely spread out. It's all drying out with this sun and this wind as well, so it should be all right. When we start whacking it, we've got this corner to do and all that left over so we shouldn't be too bad we might just have a little bit left over for backfilling um, I never thought I thought we'd have a load left over so we could have kept clay for that we might have to, we might have to buy another ton for backfilling it but we'll see anyway we're not digging out the skip huh. after Alex digging it putting it in the first place so yeah um, step round here got my boots on now I'm about to use a whacker. Oh, just a quick one. Got my puncture done at uh, Ron Crosby Ties in Upskirk. And a shout out to Roy. He came over to say he watches the channel. So we've done my puncture. And I've got a diary. 2024 diary, Ron Crosby Tires. So if you're in the Umskirk area, do um, car, commercial, and farm vehicles. Yeah, great service. Took about 20 minutes, done and dusted. Screw right in the middle of the tread. Look, it was in the middle. So yeah, thanks again to Roy. Ron Crosby tyres. Right, let's get this thing round there. Yeah. Well, I've just found a good tip. If you've got a bit of sludge, left, you know, like that leftover sludge when you've been moving mucky water, well, that's a bit of sludge. If you can't get it, just uh, leave it out overnight. On a, winter. On a winter day. Yeah, it only works in winter. There you go, fuck it's clean. Yeah, that is chucking the trench, it's going to be defrosting to sludge in it. We're going to do.
There you go, that's the stone in and moved away from there. Call that space. I feel cleansed. There you go. It's about 20 past 12 now, so we're gonna have a quick lunch, bring a tape back with us, and then we'll know what bits might be low and need a bit of um I think I don't think any it's low, I think might have a high spot in the middle, so we might just break break that middle bit into that corner where it's dropped a bit. Okay, oh happy days. I uh, uh I went I made sure there was definitely enough in there. And uh, any all the spare stone we have backfilled this side. Okay. So we got, what, tell them what Dad thought. Hmm? Tell them what Dad thought. Well, what did you think? He's throwing stone in the skip because too much of it. <laughs> the, last, the last two extensions that we've done the slab on, we, uh, we very underestimated how much stone we'd need. So I made sure. It was wasn't it? Hmm? Yeah. So uh, I wasn't letting any of that stone go uh, into a cavity before it was in here, <laughs> which was good because, we get, because that's how much spare we had. And then like there's a little, and then we just swept off the rest in there. So that's that was it. But yeah, uh, enough rambling. We will see you after lunch, and we'll get a bit of sand blinding, and then um, get some bricks loaded up while the weather's nice. There we go. I think we've gone over all this before lunch. I think that's going to have to come down a little bit and we're going to have to double check the floor level because the doors are coming out. It's got to be open through. Alex has done the backfilling. Got another bucket of stone to go in that corner. Uh, I'm going to get the wheelbarrow and I'm going to start bringing bricks around and get, get enough loads out for today. There's no, no need to blitz it all out straight away. We just need what we want today and get that sorted. So yeah, um, Alex is just going... So yeah, let's set you up over here and get some loading up on.
I'm not turning the radio down because I'm only on adverts. Corners up, bonds worked out. Biggish perps with a half on the end. If that works for everybody, that means the we've increased inside by 100 mil to allow for the loss of 50 mil on the cavity. So that's got it back to the same internal measurement as it would have been. Um, it works brick, so it works brick under the window and on the pike, and this works brick as well. So we're all set. We're just going to run in as quick as we can now. We're racing the racing the, the, uh, the dark again, but it's not sunny today. The good news about that is it's not going to freeze tonight. It's going to drop to two, and then go, it's be back at five by by the morning, and then it's going to start raining. Whoopee. But we need to get this thing sorted. We need to get um, get it blinded and get the vis screen in it quick. And then um, as long as we get the insulation and the other vis screen on top, then it doesn't matter if it rains on it. We can just uh, get the wet dry back on it and then get the concrete in it. Oh, it's all up in here at the moment because of the weather. But the um, good thing is this is this will be finished up today.
pleasant surprise. It is a surprise actually, I really didn't think we were going to get that done today. I didn't think we'd have enough mortar, I thought it would be a push to get it done. Because don't forget, I need to be on the flat. That's that's really hard work hopping in out of there. So, yeah, we're in. Flat start again with the bricks. Yeah, yeah, flat start. That was all you, I was... Um... Doing stone. Huh? You doing stone. Oh, stone yeah. So yeah, we're ready. It's um, sand blinding, visqueed, insulation, cold bridging strip, visqueed, concrete. And that door's coming out as I've said, so we don't have to cover it. So when people are getting irate saying, look at the concrete all over that door, I say, it's going in the skip. And it's a very old aluminium patio door in a hardwood frame, like 1980s style. So it won't be getting sold. It's it's not, it's no good. The lock and, locks are no good. So it's been it's, it's going. Probably in Neil skip that. I'll skip will be gone by then. Um, yeah. So what, what we're going to do now is tidy up in the daylight, which is a nice change for us. And then um, just leave the joints until last thing. Works out nice that. It's a bit annoying being a full to a half, but that's just the way it works out. It's better that working brick and um, giving the extra bit of um, room. So there you go. This is the internal of it. It's weird, it looks almost square. But it's 3.7 by 4 metres, so there's, there's 300 millimetres in it. Right. Time lapse and tidy. Well, seems we, for, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so, from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.